Hi all, welcome to this Legoon Play the Month Guide for October and it looks like we could have a pretty decent card to look forward to for um, this kind of Play of the Month so if we can smash the likes would be awesome sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. all links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always and comment down below who you would like to see as the Player of the Month if given that opportunity now looking at it for this month we could have Acardi, Di Maria, Ben Yedder and Mbappe kind of as the main four standouts but I will say as well for kind of at least mentioning we've got potentially Yaziki, Sarabia and even kind of like Salamani has been half decent and also Kurt um, and Lazny for um, Brest as well because so, there have been a few individual performances that kind of stood out this month so we'll see how it plays out, but the main four that I think that are going to be is Mbappe, Ben Yedder, Di Maria and Icardi. I feel looking at their stats for the month of October, that is where we're leading towards. So just to kind of start off with um, Icardi, he has four goals and one assist for the month of October from the three games played with three wins for PSG. Now the thing is, a lot of folk have to always remember, because he has got a one to watch card, his if he was to win player of the month, the one to watch is not affected in the slightest, so be prepared for that. Now, I would actually be honest, um, a card day could potentially be the cheapest of the four, regardless of what rating he goes to, um, mainly because of his like pace, his shooting. Like While he's got good shooting, it's like the physical and the pace is where it lets him down. While he has three-star skills and four-star weak foot, in terms of potential routes for Icardi, you would have Argentina, Inter Milan, PSG, Legoon as kind of like the main four. I'd imagine they would go like f three routes, maybe even only two. They might just make it two decent rated routes and set you back like about 120-150k to do. And I would imagine it would be too strenuous. You maybe only need like one or two informs. Like if they made it, it's kind of the same... They'd end up probably doing like the same kind of format as like Joseph Martin is, but just make it um, slightly ex slightly more expensive so it works out. Because I imagine a card they won't necessarily be the most desirable card of the four, um, mainly because people just don't find him like even when he has like when he was eighty seven last year and he had like a f he gets a few informed on him, he just doesn't seem to be an enjoyable card to use. It's just he's one of those players I've I've just never enjoyed them. I remember a couple of years ago. I'm sure it's FIFA 18 and I'd packed like one of his best rated informs and I still didn't enjoy the card. It was just, I couldn't, I just couldn't gri get to grips with him but it is what it is. On to Di Maria, he has got two goals and three assists for the month. Now he has been very, very impressive and I would say looking at French media in particular, Di Maria is probably the favourite because he's consistently been averaging eights and nines and um, I think he had one seven looking at the, it's like an 8, a 9 and a 7 looking at French media. So I would say going on that, if French, if basically the French, like Le Keep for example, are going hot on him, then it would make you assume going on how the players have performed in the month that he would be a strong candidate. Now I would hope that he would go to like an 89, that they actually do like a plus 2 boost. And if it's an 8 to 8 raid card, it's going to be very redundant very, very quickly. Now, I would imagine, um, for in terms of potential routes for Di Maria, you would have kind of the same again with Icardi. You might have Ar um, Argentina, you might have PSG, because he's been there a few years now. You may also have the, maybe the past a little bit with like Manchester United and Real Madrid. So you may have them as well, but, or you may have league elements of it. So it could be Premier League, La Liga, then Legoon Argentina and but the Legoon element is where you maybe need a PSG player so what you would end up finding is potentially if it's like say 385 or 86 I'd imagine they'll make them half decent squads because the prices of like 85 is fairly cheap as it is so they may go like um, 385 but you need like an inform in each squad or um, if it's three routes, for example, or it could be two, where it's one in form in each, potentially. Because I would imagine if he was 89 rated as a right wing, he won't be too expensive, but he won't be too cheap either. He might be about the same, he might be just above a card price. 
Like his inform just now is like 60, 55, 60 k. That's what's consistent. Well, 50, 60 k is what's been consistently. I would say the inform, I'm um, sorry, the play of the month. You're maybe talking double that. So I would imagine that they would not go too overboard with the card, but we'll see how it plays out. And he's got five star skills and two star weak foot. I had his team this season last year, packed him. Um, wasn't too bad a card. Now on to Ben Yedder, four goals in the month, two wins, one loss. He has been very consistent as well with two eights and a seven from his three games, so equally impressive. Would I say he is a um would he be a popular card? You bet he would be because the pace would be up significantly. I would hope the shooting would be up decently, the dribbling would be up and that physical. It needs the boosts. It needs a significant boost to kind of make it even more appealing. And because obviously he went from 83 to 85 for the inform, you would hope that the player of the month would go to an 87, and then it suddenly looks a lot more appealing. And you'd also have a bit of time to kind of um, not only do them, but justify doing them because it's plus two, and he's going to need two informs to kind of get up to that. The only thing that may. Um, get him quicker to that kind of 87 rating as if he was to get an upgrade from his 83 because he's been kind of running right in France this year and um, he's bro he broke like I think it was one of the Monaco records I think it was Rivière's record so he would definitely be an appealing card obviously his inform is 200k the one to watch went extinct for a brief period so it's like 300k extinct play of the month I would hope would cost around 300-400k I hope they don't go overboard with it because you've got to remember as well that you're um, getting packs on it and you'd also be working out the um, like the ratio for cost. Um, like, is it worth it basically? Um, in terms of Ben Yedder, you might get because he's played in Lagoon um, previously for Toulouse, so you may have like a Lagoon element of like Monaco and Toulouse or just Lagoon in general then you would probably go maybe even La Liga when he was at Sevilla and then you would maybe have France as well so you may end up only, f that would end up being like your three routes of like say France, Legoon and like La Liga and in all honesty if you made each route like 100k each then it's not going to be too hard but it would kind of make a bit of logical sense and then obviously hopefully you get half decent packs for each route so you're maybe talking like anywhere from like 80 to 100 20, 140k worth of packs. Now finally for Mbappe is the last player that we're going to focus on. Three goals, one assist from the two games played so he has got a bit of a struggle uh, compared to the rest but he has still had a very strong month of five star skill moves, four star weak foot, two wins from the two games he's played. Now Mbappe if was to happen we would assume would just be a plus one. We'd love a plus two but um, obviously wishful thinking of course. The assumption is that he will get a play of the month at some point, you never know, he just needs to run right for one month to kind of make that a reality. Um, for him, in terms of potential routes, we would imagine France, Lagoon, and then something around the World Cup. So it could be, um, like it would be 2018 World Cup, and it could be say France and Croatia, something like that. And you maybe need one France, one Croatian player, and it's just maybe like an 85 rate squad, but I would imagine Mbappe would not be cheap in the slightest. I love how if it's just 85, it could even be 86. And then that kind of mean it would just be like Perisic, Mandzukic, Rakitic, and um, Modric would be needing. So it would be a bit crazy. But I still feel like Mbappe later, in, maybe in the year, could still get one. Um, the assumption is that him and Neymar are like the two that will eventually get a play of the month card. But. All in all, folks, for me, in terms of this month, I feel Di Maria is going to win it, and I'm hoping it's an 89-rated card. Um, and I, the reason why I still feel it's going to be Di, Ma Di Maria is because of the um, because EA like to refer to Le Keep a lot. That is where I feel that they will feel more confident in saying Di Maria has clearly proven in the month of October that he's been the standout player. This is the reasons why, shown by the goals, the assists, the match ratings that he's received, and this is what we feel that he should be rated and what his stats should be in relation and hopefully the cost of the SBC. Like I would imagine um two pack if it was two mega packs and it was like 120k, I think a lot of folk would happily do it. That's my feeling anyway. 
because you'd probably be able to then do it maybe just under 100k after packs. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below who you would like for the Player of the Month for Lagoon. As I said, it's not live yet, it's just predictions to get you started. Smash likes always, sub to channel if you know, and I'll catch you all later.